Hello and welcome back to Larry's Furries, where you learn about animals and learn to pronounce your teacher's name. So as your science teacher, I have a duty to, infor to inform you when something that I've shown you in class is not quite accurate. And I'll often take the advantage of the Larry's Furries form to do that because, because it's a nice setting for everyone to, le to learn about things that aren't strictly part of the curriculum. And so, with it, that in mind, with that principle in mind, here's today's featured animal. So, Kingdom Animalia, it's an animal. Phylum Quadrata, we're dealing with vertebrates and class Mammalia, so fur, furry animals as usual. Order is Carnivora, which, as you recall, includes most most of the meat-eating mammals, but not but not exclusively so. Family this time is Mephitidae. So the Mephitidae are skunks, basically. And in this case, our featured animal is going to be Mephitis Mephitis, the common skunk or striped skunk. So that, that's going to be the most familiar type of skunk. But before I show you what's real, let me show you what's not. So, of course, we all know Pepe Le Pew is a cartoon character. But 7th graders will recognize this food web from the assignment packet that they've been working on. And you see the, the skunk sitting right in the middle of that. Well, that skunk is just as unreal as Pepe Le Pew. And here's why. If you look at the rest of the animals in the food web, you know, lions, giraffes, rhinoceroses, uh, so various other predatory cats, uh, these are all animals that are native to the African savanna. The skunk is not. Striped skunks are exclusive to North America. Even if we extend to the entire Mephitis family, so all of the skunk species, there are two species of skunk in Indonesia, and all of the rest of the skunks in the world are either in North or South America. So there are no skunks at all in Africa, and therefore a skunk could not possibly appear in the African food web. Also, there also are no skunks in France, so if Pepe Le Pew existed, he'd have to be Canadian. <laughs> but that's another story. <laughs> uh, by the way, before I move on, I should note that whether skunks are exclusive to, to North America, they're pretty flexible otherwise. They're not confined to a, spe to a specific biome. You will find skunks any place in North America that, it, that isn't the desert or tundra. So... Let's look, let's look at what's real about skunks. So, there's basic striped skunk. It's about, you know, about one to two feet long. Mass, four to ten pounds. So, the skunks are omnivores. They mostly eat insects, but, but they do sometimes eat small birds and, and other small animals. So the, so, the food web we saw was correct in, in that much. And they also... In the, are known to eat plants, especially, especially berries, but sometimes also grasses. So, that, so that's their diet and, and habitat. And, and, of course, the other famous feature about skunks that you probably don't need me to tell you about, they spray. So the picture to the left is with a skunk in the tail up. That's its warning posture, indicating that it's going to spray you if you don't, if you don't back off. So if you see, see a skunk doing that, walk away. <laughs> so the spraying is a distinctive feature of all of the skunk species. However, it's not really an exclusive feature to them. So skunks produce their spray in anal scent glands. And anal scent glands themselves are features found in most carnivorans. For, for example, your dog notably ha has scent glands and can sometimes have problems with, uh, with those that your vet needs to treat. Yes, your dog won't spray with its glands. However, in addition to skunks, uh, some of the um, mustelids, that is the, uh, the weasels, badgers, ferrets, uh, the, some, some of those species will spray. Uh, of, co of course, we're familiar with the mustelids from our, from our old friend, the black-footed ferret, but that particular mustelid is not inclined to spray. You're more likely to find that kind of behavior from badgers and wolverines. But skunks have a, have a more developed ascent gland, and, and they're more inclined to, to use it as a weapon. 
Specifically, the skunk spray is used as a defensive weapon. Skunks don't u don't use it to attack to attack things they want to kill. Or they they use it to attack things that want to kill them. And it's very effective in that role. Mo most of car a bigger carnivores will not tangle with a skunk. The only the only major predator that does take on skunks is the great horned owl. If you if you do get sprayed by sprayed by a skunk, the, uh, there's lots of rumors about what to do with it. You know, things like tomato juice. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Your best bet would be hydro hydrogen peroxide, which is an oxidizing agent, so it'll it'll chemically attack the skunk spray, along with uh, soap soap to a, and baking soda to a neutralize and eliminate it. <laughs> so there. So those are the important things to know, to know about skunks. <laughs> they're, 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 pre they're prevalent in, in the environment all, all around us in North America. They're not found at all in the environments of Africa and Europe. <laughs> they're, <laughs> uh, they're, they're, they're omnivores. They, they eat almost anything. They're, they're very successful in doing so. And so they, so they live in all... All the, all the biomes of North America, they, they live pretty well in human environments as well, like cities. So, so we, see, we see skunks all over. They, they're doing fine, even, though, even if they annoy us occasionally with their leftover spray. So, so references. Information from, from Wikipedia. Don't need to go anywhere exotic to learn about skunks. They're common and well known. Uh, the the Pepe Le Pew and food web images are just of, co of course are not are not are not mine. They they're used under fair use. Uh, other pictures are, are are available more generally. So that's that. And for and for now, uh, have a have a great day and don't get sprayed by a skunk because it stinks. <laughs>